for people in Colfax, this was the chance to catch up and dig out. So currently I'm trying to get all the snow from under my tire. It's getting a little difficult to try and get out of here. Um, trying to get back home to Sacramento. Sienna look was only supposed to be here visiting a friend for one night. Didn't expect it to snow like this in February. <laughs> Three so, nights later yeah. and this is what snow life is, I guess. It's true. As some discovered this week, the snow isn't all fun and games. In fact, for many, it's a lot of work. I gotcha. Thank you. I live all about right a half there. mile away. I've been walking to work every day. To and from work. Right, 315 Kevin. Aaron Hall is a cashier. Gotcha. Thank you. At the Colfax Chevron station off Interstate 80. And that one. Bam. Even with the snowstorm shutting down the highway Monday. Hi Vance. Hello Aaron. How are you? The gas station stayed open for locals and essential workers. I'm tired. Yeah. It's been a couple snow. long days out there working the snow, huh? Yeah, so it's spring. And it's been busy. Residents have needed propane. We're out of propane completely. Everybody around here is out of propane, um, but we do have the gas and whatever they need for their um, generators and things like that to get that through. But as things thaw today, many are hopeful. Today is kind of the day for all of us to clean up and do it, do everything that we need to do. The day to clear things out before another storm moves in. We've had a lot of people plowing driveways and helping out their neighbors and doing amazing things. In Colfax, Lizamie Tree, KCRA 3 News.